Alice, and she's got her two. Oh, yeah, I gotta start. Let me get that started. Yeah, we have Liz on the right hand side playing a uh, mercenary, and we have Jason on the left with a rebel list. So we've seen a lot of IG88 today. I think it's, it's been battered into every match. Uh, and this is running him here as well, and running uh, Jabba as well. Uh, a couple uh, cards worth of weak ways. So feels very similar to the list we saw in we saw in round one. Well, it's funny you say that because it's there's a lot of people right now they're saying oh there's a meta which is you use this you use um, hunter smugglers and use things like weak ways and Jabba and um, Onar which she does have in her list she she's using Onar and so it's tough because it makes they're really he's really hard to hit and that list is it does a lot of damage and the command cards are really good they're, so a lot of people think it's a bit o overpowered right now uh, I'm just getting a, uh, her list out here. That's right. There we go. Oh, wait, sorry. Never mind. That's not a rebel list, is it? <laughs> no. Sorry. Okay. I, I, all I saw was a Luke. I didn't really uh, pay enough attention. Left hand side is uh, actually another mercenary list that's importing uh, Luke. Yep, using the uh, temporary alliance. Yeah. So it looks like Jason has a uh, elite. Weekway Pirate, he's got Vinto, who's one of my personal favorites for Scum, he's only 5 points, and we saw him last round. Uh, Luke Skywalker, Gideon, and it looks like he's got the IG with yeah. the upgrade, yeah. right? So, that's going to be pretty nasty. It's almost like having two Lukes, really, because they both are pretty similar in so their you, ability. Yeah, you'll have to forgive me, this is, this is Travis here on Mike, we, uh, one of the people who help run VTTV. We love we are you! Not, we are not Imperial Apart uh, Assault <laughs> Experts. <laughs> You're so, in trouble if you got me being the expert now. Yeah, VJ <laughs> here kidding. is our expert, uh, and he's organizing the tournament today. Um, but we wanted to try to bring co commentary if yeah. we could, so um, we're yeah. using our limited knowledge to... No, you guys are doing great, a great job. So what's going to happen today is um, there are four of those neutral mission tokens set up, and one's hidden behind the door, so you can't really see it. And the whole focus of this is... You are, if you go up to one of those mission tokens and you can interact with it. Yeah, they're basically patrons at the bar, right? That's correct. They're basically sitting at a bar. They're in the bar at Anchorhead Canteen. Sorry, at the cantina. Right, so yeah. And uh, so they're sitting there, and if you go up and you interact, you can put one of your own tokens on them. And what that does is it gives you, uh, it essentially works towards the end of the game in that that's the amount, uh, lesser amount of points you need to kill to be able to win the game. So it sounds really complicated, but it actually ends up being easy when you play it. So for example, you go up to one of those neutral mission tokens, you say, I'm gonna interact with this. I'm gonna put my token on it, and now I'm two points closer to getting 40. So you, instead you need to kill 38 points. If you, hit, if you go get another uh, terminal, you're now five points away. If you get a third terminal, it's 10. And if you can somehow get all four terminals to be on with your token on top, you're only 20 points away from winning the game. So, and it's happened to me a bunch of times. Guys will go get four terminals really fast. Uh, uh, sorry, objective tokens fast. And now they only need 20 points to win the game. So it's it makes for some interesting brawling because you want to kind of get in that middle area. Um, I've seen a lot of different strategies. I've seen people try to go around to where you see the two on the right and start focusing from there, like if they start from the bottom. Yeah. And if you start from the top, I see people trying to hide around that corner where the two are just to kind of peg people off. Right. Uh, so, so each of the patrons can have one favorite token from both sides? No, they actually have, can that's have correct, I'm one? sorry, yes, you can okay. have, um, so you actually have to do each one separately, but they both can, can, can okay. uh, interact with the pat patron. Okay. But if you uh, don't control, you can't interact with it, right? So if you have okay. an, an opposing guy sitting there, you can't just walk over and, and interact, so. All right, so yeah, I, uh, oh, okay, never mind, that's right. Okay, so they're putting down the figures, so it looks like Liz is putting down her uh, Weekway Pirates, and I will, uh, sorry, I have to give a shout out to Ivan, those were his paint jobs. Uh, so it's really nice of him to lend these out to Liz today. But she's getting her Weekway Pirates down, it looks like she's got, she's got Onar on her list and a Jawa Scavenger. Uh, Jawa Scavenger, but not bringing in any other droids. Yeah, I think maybe just to fill out the list, right? I, it looks yeah. like an, an IG. The only version is like not very many points, so. Yeah, and I find I've used it, and actually it's in one of my new lists right now. I just throw it in for the two points because it's it's a little annoying, 
and it, it does roll a white die. So there's been times where they've attacked it, which you think, oh man, yeah, go ahead, waste your attack on a two point guy, and then you roll the dodge, and suddenly look what look what look where you're at. You just wasted a whole attack on something that's not going to do a whole lot. Now at the same time, they have a cool ability that they they do roll two yellow die. And when they roll the two, uh, sorry, their surge ability, he can pu push two damage through. Um, he can add accuracy. I mean, there's uh, definitely still an ability for these guys to do damage. So for two points, not only do you get a little bit of an annoying character, um, but you also, uh, so you can get objectives, but you can also do some damage and take some aggro. Oh man, did you see that? I just saw in Liz's hand, she has Blaze of Glory. <laughs> Cheating for all the people thing. at home. Yeah, cheating for all the people at home. I, I think I saw that in her hand there. So she's definitely got a little... Uh, she's going to want to get IG out there soon to do some damage. And here we go. So let's see what people decide to do. I mean, I always find in this one, you always... The person who's on the bottom seems to have an advantage uh, for going up the middle. So it's interesting that Jason has decided to come down from the top through the door already. He already opened the door. Yeah. And so by opening that door, I mean, it's possible he has Luke's Son of Skywalker. So what he can do, he's going to basically walk Luke in, do an attack, and then guess what? I'm going to reactivate again so that next turn I can do the same thing all so over again. So just use Jabba to give a focus to Gideon? Was that what? Yeah, so Jabba can focus. Uh, did you say to Gideon? That's what it looks like. No. Uh, Who is that figure? Jabba. Oh, right. So Gideon focused up IG, I believe. Or is he beside him? Let me just kind of look here. Yeah. Uh, no, Luke. Yeah. So use Gideon to focus Luke. Oh yes. Yeah, sorry, I was looking at the what we just the action of the other. Ah, yeah. Yes. So he focused up Luke and made Luke yeah. move too. So I'm pretty sure I would guess he's got some of Skywalker just because he did open the door with the weak way. The other thing I think with the weak way is when we talked last round about how they're versatile. They're good doormen. They're good yeah, yeah. to just say use one to open a door. Right. Who cares? Because they're gonna sit there. No one's gonna probably attack them. So. Um, yeah, so Luke's kind of ready to pounce, really, if anyone gets close. So I think in this situation, you might not want to open that door at the bottom. Well, that's the thing. So the weak ways came out first. Yeah. Open that door. Yeah. And then if anyone on Liz's side goes and opens that door, yeah. he can activate and take a shot. Yeah, exactly. So let's see if she's... Oh, looks like she's going towards the door, though. <laughs> okay, well, she's probably going to have to come through there at some point. I agree, agreed. And now she's doing the smart thing, which is prowling them. So just, she basically moves four and gives them each a hidden, a hidden token which is great, like I've said in the last round, to give you the extra defense, but also the extra offense. So, I don't, oh, there it is. I see, she must have been short, not hit. Oh, look at Jason being so nice and lending a hidden token. Oh, Lin see, this is what I love about this community, right? All helping each other out. Jason lending her some hidden tokens for the round. Right, because hidden was a new thing that was added, not in the not, first half, but later on. That's right. It was added relatively recently. So, and that's, I like it. It's, I used, when it first came out, I didn't really use it. It came out with the whole uh, Blaze expansion and the ISB um, um, infiltrators. And so I love it because if you can get it, it's plus, it's going to add a, um, a mi like, it minus is two accuracy from your opponent's attack. Okay, wow. But it also gives you a free surge. And with something like a weak way, it's surges are awesome. You can do a plus three for accuracy. You can also push two for damage. Well, here's Robot Luke coming up to the front of the line. Um, it's interesting. She's it is, at least is double moving him just to get him. See, okay, what he did here, I like this, and I'll tell you why. With this map, the trickiest thing I find to do is to actually when you're going to try to get all four of the patrons yeah that's always the hardest one to kind of get just because you're always fighting with each other before that like in the hallways right so he's smart he went over there he knows now he's getting ig in a really good position for next round anyways so what he can do is just basically uh at the beginning of the next round he's gonna actually take that patron like put a token on it now he's gonna be minus two away from the final but he now got IG in a great position oh we can see his cards nice oh he's got Son of Skywalker negation and it looks like maybe on the lamb interesting is that is he let me just look make sure he's got that on the lamb yeah yeah he does have on the lamb in there the only problem with on the lamb is it has to be used for a smuggler so it would only be for the weak ways and Vinto uh, wouldn't you know we wouldn't be able to use it for Luke, I, though IG is a, is he a smuggler? I thought he's just a hunter. Uh, what can I see on his card there? 
Smuggler seems like an unlikely. No, keyword just for him. probably a hunt, hunter droid. That's what he is, hunter droid. So not smuggler. So he's only able to use on the uh, on the lamb for the weak ways and Vinto, which actually is great to use on Vinto. Um, so yeah, you can. See, I love it. I love the home game here. I could see the son of Skywalker just sticking out there. So yeah, you know, well, Jason. Be, so. Jason, you know, is being nice and he's you know tilting them to the camera and giving <laughs> us a chance to see that. I love it. Yeah, Liz was trying earlier because she did show us Blaze of Glory IG's card, so we at least got to see that. Now I think, so like I think in my opinion, he's definitely going to want to get that or door open soon so he can run Luke in there. But Liz is probably too smart to open it herself, and so he's going to have to wait another round, unless he makes Luke walk in, open the door, and then uses Luke's Son of Skywalker. But that's a waste, I think, at this point. Um, so starting out good as far as positioning. Okay, so she's I'm not sure she's she's giving IG his, for his free two movement points that starts the round with that new upgrade card, and she's moving him right in the middle of the uh, patrons. So I like what she did there, and she interacted with one of them. So now she's two points less from winning the game. Now, the good thing about what she did is IG is also now in a good position. But also, should, should we mark, like, those only come in at the end of the game, but should we might as well mark the points now, right? Um, well, it's hard to because it's it's a minus point, so it's not adding to her total. It's kind of making instead of her having to hit forty, she has to hit thirty eight. Right. So it's tricky, I think, to do that on here now. You'll have to kind of maybe just keep track of the colored tokens. Well, we will. Yeah. Yeah, and then you could say, okay, you know that she's that. Well, actually, it's good that you put two because that's two away, right? That's a good point. That's a, it made this one tricky. When it first came out, people were so confused as to how it worked. They're like, wait, do I get 20 points? So can I use it for Java? And it turned out they had to clarify it and say, no, no, it means that's how many points you are away from 40 uh, from making the game. Basically, you could win the game quicker if you have the guts to go in and take those things. No, no, you got them right away. No, it, so the, the wording is counts as having a number of VPs. Right. I don't know if it's the same yeah, thing so as we actually can, having. You can't you can't spend them. So yeah. it, it's only it minuses you away from your right. your total. So I think for the purposes of uh, clarity, I think we're just going to put it. Okay, yeah. if you like, yeah, sure. Because the problem is VPs. If you have VPs, you can actually spend you can use them. them. I know. Right. So in this situation, you wouldn't be able to spend those ones that are there. I like what she did with uh, IG because IG is sitting basically blocking two of those things from being used now, right? So, but it's interesting because now you've got the two IGs are within range of each other to fight at some point, and Jason's got Luke. So Jason, Jason has a really good position right now to do a lot of damage to IG, especially with the, the weak ways all being will be able to come out too. Well, we know that Liz has a blaze of glory, so ah. getting out there and getting a chance for him to uh -huh. do some of that damage is probably a, a big part of her strategy. You're absolutely right. Yeah, And it looks like she opened the door. Well, she's still, So Luke's yeah. activated already, so she's yeah. not scared, Yeah, and she can get those, those remaining weak ways uh, a shot at Luke. Yeah, it's going to um, make this interesting too. Oh, looks like he's playing Son of Skywalker. Uh, that's it, at the end of any activation. I don't so he can reactivate yeah. Luke. Yeah, so and Luke, we we was hidden behind the door, but Luke also interacted with the uh, the patron there. There's hidden behind the door, so right. they're both kind of two victory points towards victory. Yeah, uh, yeah, that, that's that's right. Yeah, and then once the, he gets the other IG on the other side, it'll be five away. see what happens here so he activated the Luke he's gonna wait it out here no nope, he's gonna use Luke uh, Luke had a focus too so it's, it's I think it's back in the oh this is interesting he's going at the at the uh, the, uh, the Jawa here I find that very interesting and I wonder if he forgot that he has the focus Let's see. Nope, no he remembered it okay so there's the token there yep so he's gonna attack the Jawa and that's a de definitely a dead Jawa, yeah. and he's probably going to be able to surge for other fun things. Now, the thing is, I don't know if I would have wasted Son of Skywalker on a Jawa. That's the thing, right? Like, as the Jawa, you're probably happy to... So just getting him out of the way, uh, that's two points. And he's using... So he's what he did there, he attacked. He's using more of his movement points, he attack again. Attack the weak way. So I guess he's just figuring, hey man, I can go in there and make two kills right away. Uh, so yeah. that's decent, but that's not going to kill the weak way. No, that's not going to do much damage at all to the weak way. 
So I am assuming he's gonna. I'm, I, I, it's gonna be interesting to see what he does after. After he's just shot at the weak way, because he's not gonna. I don't know where he's gonna be able to get himself in a good position to be under defense, and then he's gonna get pelted by shots. So it looks like the weak way took five, which is unfortunate for Jason because one more and you're talking a dead weak way. And that weak way is still hidden. Now, yes, it's activated already, uh, so he doesn't have to worry as much. But And I'll tell you, man, I don't know how many times Luke has come in and not died. Like, come all the way in, done his thing, and then you go, oh, okay, I'm going to throw everything at you, and he just doesn't die. It's like his innate ability to the, uh, the surge block is really strong, to be quite honest. Well, that's the thing. That, you know, there's the question with this weak way. Do you go after Luke? Or do you just kind of push on and kill some figures that maybe you can take down a little more easily? Yeah, that's a really good question. The weak ways, the weak ways are uh, they're tough. And at the same time, you, if you use that, that hidden, it's gone, right? And to get it back is actually really tricky to get it back. Uh, yeah. So King Chimp's saying, as soon as someone shoots Luke, that weak way is dead. <laughs> Oh, right, because you shoot Luke, and he's going to deflect one damage onto the weak wing. So, he's, yeah, see, that's smart, yeah. So it's basically going to end up being a dead weak wing. Good call, King Chimp. So, yeah, I think maybe just move past and work, work on uh, Vinto. Yeah, and, and actually, Ken Seventy... That's not Vinto, that's another weak wing. Kenny brought up a good point, Ken Seventy. He said, I would have gone after IG with Luke, and I'm thinking I might have would have done the same just because he's out in the open like that. I, at the same time, maybe he's, I don't know, it'd be a worry because you, IG can do Blaze of Glory. I don't know. And I think he thought, well, I mean, he, he came very close to being able to take the weak way out. Yeah. So, and, and really, he will here. Yeah. So it looks Getting like rid of two figures is not terrible, terrible turn. Yeah. And it looks like he's played on the lamb. But who is she? Who is she attacking here? Uh, she said she was attacking Luke with the weak way. But Luke, you can't use on the lamb for Luke. I don't know if he knows that. It's only for smuggler. Then we're we discussing that now. Yeah. I Do I just so. go uh, and make sure that they're handling this correctly? Yeah. So yeah, he is just going over and uh, double checking everything there. So it is rolling that back. Couldn't play the card. All right, so they corrected that. So now... Cancels the surge. So it'll be three damage, but let's see if he remembers his, his deflection as... So it looks like she prowled there and she attacked and then prowled. So we're doing a calculation of an attacking Luke, I think. Right, he's in an eight block. So Luke did take the three damage. And let's see if he remembers the um, the deflection. So is deflection is an automatic ability? Yeah, deflection is when you attack him, he basically can deflect one of the shots onto a character within line of sight. And I don't think he did there, which would have killed the weak way. I think he forgot that. And that's what was pointed out earlier by one of the, uh, I think it was Matt. Okay, so that's unfortunate. He could have had a free dead weak way there. I mean, I'm sure that weak way is dead at some point anyways, but... So now Jason is moving up Vinto. Just to get him into the a little closer to the action. Although Liz is still pretty far down the map. Yeah, I always find I've, I when I Vinto on this map and I have the top like they like Jason has, I like to Vinto pretty much exactly where he's now, just so he's ready to poke around that corner. So it looks like he double moved Vinto just to get him far, far down the line there near IG. 
Ed, you going to be okay with that? Yeah. I, yeah, I'm not sure I would have exposed Vintel that easily to So th this is one of the lower ta tables of maybe some players who haven't played as much Imperial Assault. Yeah. We wanted to try to get uh, get a game where people hadn't already been on the string. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. We, uh, for the next round, we will be bringing you the top table. Yeah, that's the way to go. So she used Blaze of Glory, and so she's basically activating IG's card again. It's an opportunity just to potentially even take Vento out here. So she'll get to do two attacks. It looks like she's got some cards to be pouncing on, pouncing with too. for her to yeah. decide who she wants to target here. That must be what's going on, eh? Yeah, unfortunately, we'll just be doing four rounds of Swiss today. We only had ten players here for the tournament. Yeah. But uh, for the fourth round of Swiss, we will be bringing the top table because yeah. that will be the... Not guaranteed, I guess, but it will likely be deciding the victor of the day. Yeah, I think you're right. Depending on whether someone stays undefeated, it's possible we have a, a few couple players at 3-1. Yeah. Uh, but hopefully we do have a clear 4-0 victor. And yeah, King Chimp and yeah, Travis was saying earlier too that we like to mix it up at least. You're not having the same person on the whole stream, so it's good that we'll at least have the top table at the end and we can see a couple of different lists along the way. Yeah, well, I mean seeing more different people playing the same IG. Yeah, pretty much. I actually didn't expect this many IGs today, to be honest, because I know people, like, he's great right now, he's awesome, but I have seen a lot of really cool lists lately without IG do really well. And, I mean, we saw Mitch's list on stream earlier. He didn't do so well in that game, but it, I'll tell you, it's still a really good list having Tarot and Jet Troopers, but Jet Troopers in general are awesome. Yeah, they're pretty really strong. So it looks like they're still trying to discuss what's going on here. I might have to go take a look. Okay, no, she's, so she's got IG. Yeah, I'll just take a look. We'll take a look and see if they could use a little bit of help. Yeah, I don't. I, I have, we've done a few streams now for uh, Imperial Assault, and I quite enjoy the game. Uh, but I don't think I can add another hobby game to the mix. She's trying. She's trying to decide. Yeah, who to attack. Yeah, and Jason's being very patient. They're having a good laugh about it because she knows at this point she's got to make a decision and who she wants to attack. So it's looking. Obviously, it's going to be between Luke and Vinto. <laughs> And she's yeah. trying to figure out which one. I mean, I don't know. What do you do here? Do you attack Luke and then, say, chip away at him so that your next round it's a lot easier to kill him? Because you know he's running out of there at some point, right? Yeah. I, so I mean, It's a real opportunity to take a figure off the board, take a whole yeah. card off the board by killing yeah. Vinto. Exactly. I, yeah. I would be tempted to take away that activation. Yeah. Okay, so now she's moved Onar, but I thought she played Blaze of Glory earlier. Did she not? Oh, that's just to activate the card. She didn't decide to attack yet. So she moved Onar. Uh, I, I'm thinking just to get further deep in there, maybe to fight IG later as well. Also puts up a nice block, so IG can't just walk out for free. So that's an interesting move, because that IG on the left there is is stuck. Oh, right. Yeah, so King Chip does have a good point. He mentions that... Uh, He's, she's seen the on the land in his ah, hand. Right. So she knows that uh, <laughs> Vinto call. can duck out of the way if yes. she attacks him. So <laughs> Luke probably wouldn't have been her choice. Yeah. But. So, yeah. VJ, maybe you can help us out. What is, specifically does on the lamb do? So I know on it only lamb, activates for a smuggler, but. On the lamb is, is, is one of those cards that if it gets played on the table, you want to cry. So what happens is the attacker attacks, and you, you still roll your dice, and you can decide there and then that you can play on the land, and what that means is you can make a movement. So let's say you have a Vinto who's moves five. So she rolls her attack dice, you roll your defense, you don't like it, you're like, you know what, I'm gonna play on the land, just move out, and then you have to see if she still can hit you. So 
She looks like I'm guessing she's still firing at Vinta, but oh no, she's firing the weak way. Ah, she went to the corner, fired the weak way, and killed the weak way. Right. Wow, that's pretty powerful. No, four. Jabba. So five points. Ah, that's right for Jabba. That's correct. Yep. And you are right. That was. I mean, that was actually a good call. Because I guess maybe he figured, she figured from that, even on the lamb wouldn't have saved him. I think she's, he still would have, she still would have been able to shoot him. Uh, looks like they're... I think she's trying to decide if she can then choose to act to interact again with the other... Oh, that's true. Because it's the... Uh, but she moved... Oh, she, yeah, no, she can. Because she moved the, the free two movement points. Yeah. Wow, that's a good move, Liz. Great move. Yeah, you were absolutely right. Another... Three right. theoretical, so she's getting five points from uh, yeah. the gaining favor. Yeah. So she's got two up there, and the rest is from the other five points are from killing, killing the five one of the weak way. Yeah, so the five theoretical are up there right now. Yeah. And then uh, Jason killed the Jawa, Jawa, Jawa scavenger, and, and uh, two from uh, that. The theoretical, yeah, the interacting in the middle. Yeah. So, but we also saw two of the big cards get played this round, right? So yeah, you're absolutely Blaze right. of Glory and Sen of Skywalker are both gone. Yep, they're both out. Oh, look at this. Looks like Jason stole initiative there. So, he's going to blow... Did he blow three? Oh, he blew Gideon there. So, yeah. Gideon's activation is now gone. Uh, probably a good move because he wanted to get Luke out of there, I'm assuming, right? Well, he may also want to try to just finish off that weak way. So yeah. One more thing that's not shooting at him. Yeah. I think you're right. Because that, if that was me, if I'm Liz, I'm activating that le weak way before he's dead anyways, exactly. if I can. Um, it's interesting, too, because Liz is quite spread out. and I mean, I could say Jason is, too. But I think Jason's got a nice, a little, probably a little bit better um, like positioning as far as defense-wise goes. Okay, what's he going to do here? Looks like he's going to attack with Luke, I think. And she's playing. Uh, I can't see which one that is. There's four on their spaces away, you don't have line of sight. What is that? Uh, in the shadows? In the shadows, yes. Ah, okay. So in the shadows, if you're four or more away, yeah, you can't. You can't, you don't have line of sight. Yeah, I've got one. Okay, so here's the roll. So focused IG attack. She chose two red die. So that's six hits. And looks like because you've got the Onar ability, and I guess she's trying to point out the Onar ability now for defense. And what does that do? Uh, he gets to add a, I believe it's a, I want to double check the Onar defense ability, the Onar card. So I've never, I never use them, but I, he, he can add a defense. I think it's a, a block. Oh, oh, not. I know it's annoying. Uh, so where is... It? Get down. When a small figure within two spaces is defended, no? Oh, you can choose to apply a block or a surge cast. All oh, right, so the weak way... He must have attacked the weak way then if he's using one as well. Yeah. He just no, he, a because, of, because she pointed that out, he went with uh, went against... Um, Honor looks like he took seven. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so Odor has got a ton of health. Yeah, he's a tank. So not even quite halfway there yet. It's another character that is annoying to attack. So it's interesting that he's going after the, the characters that are really annoying to attack. But at the same time, Onar comes at you with a lot of force. So he wants to try to mitigate that by trying to take out Onar sooner than later. And IG's in a pretty good spot. Ah, yes, thanks, Matt. You can add a block or a surge within two spaces. Oh, interesting move here for Liz, just to get Onar in that spot. And now she's going to attack with Onar and play tools for the job. So she can add another die. Plus, she's focused. Oh, he's Negation. negating it. Oh, that hurts. Uh, but tools for the job, no, he can't, he can't negate it, sorry. His tools for the job is two points. Yeah, no, so that's a mistake. So he's, she's going to use tools for the job. She's going to have now an extra green and an extra red to Onar's already three attack dice. So it's going to be pretty nasty here. Uh, this is going to, this IG is going to take a lot of damage. Oh boy, that's a decent roll, but that that blue's going to do nothing for her. And he rolled in a, a dodge. 
and he does get one one block. Sorry, and yeah. So she just changed that to two. Oh, that's not the end of the world. Four damage is gonna go through, and then she's gonna decide to do with her with her three surges here. So she can either push another two damage or another three, potentially up push three more damage through, yeah. which is still a, a massive amount. And it looks like that's what she did. I think she did seven in total. I think it looks like it, yeah. So IG's taking a big hit. He's still got lots left, but that's that's a big chunk. Considering, big chunk. considering his attack didn't necessarily do a whole lot. That's just as much damage as IG did to him. Yeah, and Person. that's... For half the points. Yeah, and maybe if you can kill it without him using Blaze of Glory, that's even better, right? Because he hasn't used his yet. Or I don't even know if he's done it. Yeah. So that's, uh, that's a good move. Okay, so Luke Skywalker's coming back. Oh, you think he kills this week right here and runs? I think you do. Yeah. I mean, it's overkill. Yeah. On it's the like, other hand... Gets rid of that guy? Yeah. Yeah. So Luke is going to go in. He is, uh, let's see what they're doing here. Okay, so he rolled his die. Oh, one block. So it looks like three damage at least that weak way, so that should be dead. Yeah. Uh, looks like four more, five more, four more, four, 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 four more points. Yeah, so that weak way is dead. And then Luke can Where technically Luke still move and attack somebody if he wants, or just move the heck out of there. That's a free heroic attack. He can just move eight, uh, eight now, right? And he chooses to hide Luke. Smart, smart idea. Make him be able to yeah. fight another day. I don't know if it's hiding Luke when you put it beside an enemy. enemy well, player. yeah, true enough. I, I think I meant more like from the bottom, but you are right. There's still that weak way as he's right beside an Onar. But I guess maybe he's figuring he's going to need the help against Onar. I mean, yeah. I mean, the other weak way can move and shoot. I think. Yeah. Can get into position. Yeah. He can the actually prowl can. and shoot. Yeah, too. Which is good because Luke has that surge block, right? Oh, that's a good point. Okay, so it looks like... Uh, Attack on the weak way? Yeah, yep. Yeah. And let's see what the weak way's gonna roll here. It looks like a decent roll there. Not bad, so it's like Blocked. four damage for the weak way. No other modifier. Yeah, so four damage. Oh, it's five damage. Did he play another card? I thought I only saw four. Oh, he has an innate, an eight plus one, so it's five damage. Yeah, well, that's close. That's could almost that was almost a dead weak way there. There's I mean, not, and I have a feeling it might activate next because. Of yeah, exactly. Okay. Try to do something before you're dead. Run away. Now it is, it's unfortunate that I think both of those weak ways were on different cards. Well, I guess that's good. Actually. Spread them out, I guess, eh? That's right, King Champ. Ch King Champ forgot about that, that he has the uh, built-in plus one. I love those built-in damages. Like, Bosk has the built-in two damage. Oh, this is nasty when you just go, yeah, I'm going to put this die down here. This extra damage just to let you know before I even roll my dice. I mean, it's still, still quite a swing here. Uh, you know... It looks like Luke has done his job mostly so far. He's taken out two characters and done a lot of damage to another one and relatively in a good spot. So I think Jason's got to be somewhat happy with what he's doing so far. And so it looks like she's going to activate the... Yeah, and just prowl him for one action and then I attack somebody. Now she's got a nice uh, hidden attack. And it looks like she's going to target IG, IG. I'm guessing. And let's see what's going on here. So weak way. So she's going to attack with her weak way. Oh, okay. Well, it's only so far two damage, but she just she remember she has the, uh, the the two the surge as well. She probably just hasn't put it on the board, but she's 
got the surge too. Well, so, and uh, IG has another block. Uh, here comes the surge, yeah. So she, she has the surge. And IG has the other block. So there you go. Being under 4 damage. Yeah. Bait him to 11. So he's still got, how many does he get? 17 total, I believe it is. 17, 12 plus 5, yeah, 17 total. So he still has quite a lot to go. He's still a beast. But he has activated, which is good. Uh, let's see, she's trying to figure out what to do with the other weak way now. But, I mean, at this point, you don't really have any good targets, so you're going to have to mobilize them at some point. Maybe mobilize him and hide him and wait him for wait for next turn. Because I don't think his attack's gonna do a whole lot. I suppose the other option would be try to shoot that weak way at the top of the board, but again, pretty oh, far away. How much can you move? They can move four. Uh oh. There we go, no. uh, not quite enough. Yeah. So one short of being able to interact with that, that pigeon in the middle. Ah, of the you're right, yeah. One, two, three. Yeah, you're right. One short of that. Because that would have been a huge move, because that gets her 10 points closer to the end of the game. Like, so 30. Well, an extra 5, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so she is dead. Did she play Urgency? Alright, so she did play a card. I think she played Urgency, yeah, so she can do Urgency. that. Because she really doesn't have anything better to do with this guy. And I wonder if Jason might have forgot that he has negation in his hand, because he could have used that. I don't think he used it since the, the first time. But we're going to have, she's going to attack Luke. And Luke has an innate dodge, uh, innate surge block. Rolls a white. I don't expect a lot of damage here. Wow, three damage is still really... Wow, I know. Does he remember to deflect? Uh, I don't think he's going to remember to deflect. So he could have deflected one damage onto her. And actually could have killed, could have killed the weak way that's sitting beside her. So, I think Jason's gonna probably regret not using the deflect twice. Because that would have killed two weak ways automatically, because that one weak only has one left. Oh, at least he's activated. <laughs> so that's the end. So now he's activating Vinto. So now you'll see Vinto's power. So Vinto's gonna come and he's gonna be able to do uh, three attacks if he wanted to in one round. Now see what he's gonna attack first. So here's his first attack. Unfortunately, he has no modifiers, which sucks. When you, you, with Vinto, you want to either have the good cards in your hand, uh, or you want to have uh, a, a focus or something like that. And so he's going to block the two damage. He's got a surge, but he can surge for the one damage, and I think that's what he's going to do. Will that not be just blocked the damage? Uh, well, he blocked the damage. He could surge for a damage. Uh, Vinto does have a surge for damage. I think it's damage plus an accuracy. So in theory, he could do that. Uh, looks like she's taken the damage. And then he's rolling again, attacking IG again. Uh, very similar result. I don't think anything's going to go through on this one. I don't think he's going to be able to do any damage to her on this one. And it sucks too because you want to, with Vinto, it's, you want to have him in um, a group of characters because one of his abilities is when he attacks, he can actually, uh, he has uh, what's called Bolt Slinger and he can do one damage to somebody in line of sight within three. Ah, so Ken Kenny pointed out, uh, Pierce 2 and Bleed is what he did uh, to IG. Good catch, dude. So that way you at least get that damage through. Still not an amazing activation, I think, for Jason's uh, uh, Vinto here. But you do the best that you can, you chip away, and then you run if you can. Yeah. So not bad. He's got a decent vantage point here. So still a very tight game. Uh, still has Jason still has his weak way left. Looks like Liz has not used. He's got her weak Jabba. way and the. Um, Is it Jabba still? She has IG as well. Yeah. So, okay, so it looks like. So 
something to discuss here about what's going on with those weak plays. Discussing here, they may be realizing the deflect at this point. All right, unfortunately, they missed opportunity, right? So, okay, oh, okay, so she activated that weak way. Oh, she only has one left in that group, that's why. And so, she's moving him in to take a shot at Luke, and he's got a height, which is going to help a little bit. Okay, so that's going to be looking like it's going to be two damage and a surge to push two more through, essentially be four damage. Because he blocks the surge. Surge, right? Yeah, because he blocks the surge, but he was hidden. So I think she's trying to decide what to do with that. Uh, a little discussion here. She's using that for her plus two. I can see the red die she has under the gaining, the word gaining there, and she adds two more. There you go. So that weak base. Oh, she attacked the weak way. Okay. Well, that's a smart call. I mean, he's not activated yet. If there was a chance he could have killed him, that would have helped. I don't, but the weak way can't really. She couldn't have put out enough damage to really. Take. It would have been really hard. I mean, it's possible if he whiffed on his roll. And although she could have re rolled a die too. But I, I think she's thinking put some damage on him. Yeah. He'll get to activate this turn, but uh, IG should be able to finish him off. Yeah, I think you're right. So now that weak way that she attacked, he's going to move in and probably kill one of those weak ways that's still alive. Well, yeah, the one with, yeah. The one that's hanging on by a thread. <laughs> yeah, I think he's only got yeah. one left. Yeah. So that's going to be enough. Yeah, so that's a dead weak way. So we four points for Jason. Four, four points, yeah. Well, it's got to be at least somewhat happy about that. It helps him a little bit. For IG, he's a bit off in no man's land, but he can make his way back. He's got those free two. And does she have Java to go, I think? She's got IG like as well. And IG, right. Yeah. Feels like IG should be able to finish that weak way off. Yeah. Again, I have no idea what I'm talking about, so. No, I, I think I think she, she had. I think she one on. Really he has that. He has one on there, but I, don't, I didn't think she did. I don't. She she went there and just attacked. So IG. It's confirming her range here. Uh, but she's behind. The, okay, she's just gonna walk them all the way in. And he's gonna attack. It's like. Weak way? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. She's count the spaces out here. She did her free two move. Okay, so she figured out she can get on that side. So Maybe that sense take a shot at yeah. IG. Oh, no, man. This is going to be IG on IG. Yeah, it is, because he just touched his IG card. Oh, here we go. IG on IG. She's probably going to do two reds and a green, I'm guessing. And here we go. Oh, dude. Oh, that's oh, no. nasty. That was she, a three. She fixed it, yeah. yeah, that they is got nasty. It. That's seven damage. Oh, he has six. a block, right? He has a block, so six damage. Which is enough to kill him. Oh, man. Oh. So she kills That IG. was a very lucky roll. That was. That was a beautiful. That, uh, the two reds came out. Wow, that's huge. Wow, yeah. So 13. I, 13 for Liz, yep. I mean, to be fair, that IG was not going to activate anyway. It's because right. it's going to be whatever damage here, uh, unless she. Uh, how many times do you steal initiative? Only once. Work? So yep. he could. He was not going to have initiative next round. Yeah. IG was going to get another shot. Yeah. That IG wasn't going to activate, but now IG gets to turn on Luke first that's instead right. of just having to worry about that. Yeah, so that's a huge, a huge play for her there. That's going to be probably a bit of a game swinger. I mean, Luke does have seven damage, but he has 16, I think, his total, right? So he's got, man, he's still in good shape. But he's got a lot of people right on his back. 
Well, she doesn't even have to kill Luke at this point. No. She can just kill the weak way and then interact with two patrons and that's the game, right? Yeah. Uh, Is that right. another 15 point? No. Uh, so get five more of the... She will see that of the... Right, so yeah. activating one of the patrons will give her another five, and then it'll be another ten when she gets the, the fourth. It'll be it'll be twenty total when she gets the fourth. But it'll be fifteen different from now. For now, she has yeah. five points from the. From That's those. right. So she has fifteen more she gains from that. You're right. So basically, any other figure she kills yeah. will be enough just to interact, do those two interactions. That's right. So she's spending two of her VPs to order a hit. Okay, so she's ordering a hit with uh, with Java. And what does order a hit do? So she spends two VPs, and any of the scum characters on the board can attack and move two. So they could attack and run away, essentially, but you spend the two VPs for that. So it looks like she's, I'm going to assume she's going to use IG for that here. Of course. And she's you attacking shoot? Luke. Oh, no, she's a weak way. Okay. She's attacking Luke. And looks like it's going to be... So, does Jabba have to have line of sight to do this? No, not at all. In fact, yeah, Jabba's abilities are cool in that way. In that he, it's anywhere on the map. I, I really like Jabba, Travis, because you could focus anyone on the map. You can order a hit to anywhere on the map. It's crazy. And you're getting one point for every kill. So as soon as you see a guy with a list of stormtroopers, you go, okay, I might be okay here. But you're going to get a point every time. An extra point. So Luke is still alive, it looks like. Or well, is he? Why would she... Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's just getting five. Why yeah. would she activate a weak way instead of activating uh, IG? Good question. I'm surprised she did that because with the weak way, you would have got the t the two reds and a green to attack with. Unless she was hoping to get a prout like a hide on. I'm not. I, I'm not sure why she did that. I'll have to ask her later. But she's a pretty experienced player. Um, yeah, that's uh, a very honest, interesting move. Like we discussed, I would maybe have just killed the weak way and then hope you get your two getting favor at interactions off. Yeah. You're absolutely right. Because you, you have the position to do it. You have... I mean... you got Onar, who can just go, hey, it's done. And then the other weak way... And uh, I don't, Jason may not be paying attention to that idea. Like He yeah. could easily contest one of those patrons so you couldn't place your favor. But right. And it was probably tough. Now that he's lost IG, he's probably thinking, oh, man, I'm in a bit of a hole here. Well, yeah, I mean, that's the her most efficient way to, to end this. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be tough for Jason to to recover at this point, yeah. I think. So let's see what they got here. I can see... I mean, particularly with, uh, with Liz having initiative, uh, it's entirely possible that Luke doesn't even get to activate. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Let's see... See what else he has. I know he still has negation in his hand. He's trying to decide whether to play a card here. Now, I mean, at this point, if I'm Jason, I'm on tilt. Oh, I, absolutely. I, I don't know that I'm making the best decisions at this point. No, absolutely. It's tough when you get when you when you get hit with a roll like that. It's it's tough to stay in the even queue. Well, yeah, and I I don't know if he's like me, but I'm kind of at the point where when you say on tilt, I mean, I'm at, I'm ready to just try to take something out because I'm worried. I'm like, at this point, I got to take somebody out before they shoot me and also maybe just start to build up a few points but at the same time you're right look at those two patrons are just sitting right there for the pickings to, uh, to be able to start flipping some points but you know you do have to get some some more hits and more damage done here her weak ways are uh i don't think i guess those two that are on the board are fine they don't look like they have any damage they have at zero all. damage they are from different cards yeah so they are separate activations and then onar forget about it he's got, he's got tons eight, left he's got eight health left yeah or do you have even no more? he's got uh he's got uh, i think he starts with 15. so he's uh, gonna have 10 left i think right can he heal uh, yeah because he got dealt seven damage earlier by ig uh, unless it's hidden out of the screen yeah, I didn't see what she did there with that. And then you look at her IG. He's weakened, bleeding, and it's got seven damage on. That was actually probably the reason why she didn't attack. Yeah, maybe. I don't know what Weaken does. So. Ah, that is why. Because, well, Weaken's going to take away a surge when you attack. And if you do an activation while you're bleeding, you take a hit, you take a damage. So that must be why. She figured, well, I'll just use the weak way instead. 
<laughs> to not bleed any damage with the IG. Uh, I think she's just being careful to decide what she wants to do here. She's probably thinking, man, she's got the game in a good position. She just has to make a really smart move here. I mean, I, I, are, are these both, both players, is this the 0 2 playing? Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. So, I mean, at this point, I think you just want to make sure you don't make a mistake and throw the game. Yeah. It's like you come this far. I think, I think you're right about the dice just being kind of lucky on Liz's side for a couple of these attacks because otherwise, I'm not against how they open, how either, either one of them No, open. no, I mean, I, to be honest, aside from Jason missing the deflects from Luke, which was like a big deal here. Would have killed two characters. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, would have changed the dynamic of the game substantially. Yeah. Uh, other than that, I think they both played pretty well. Yeah. I like the way they open because I, I rarely see this map have that kind of opening. Most people, uh, they're more postured. I'm not, I'm not sure that Jason gained a lot from having IG run over into that room. Yeah. So that, that's the one point I would kind of question, I think. Well, and it's funny you say that because I, I was surprised when he did it. And I thought, okay, maybe he's thinking next round I use the activation to flip the token. Are you, are you, are you going to waste IG's activation on that? I would agree with you. I wouldn't. I would. IG, to me, is a lot like the Luke. You run him in like Liz did and just say, hey, come out here and shoot because I'm going to shoot at you. Uh, so Here's IG on the Oh, another oh decent roll. That's the end of Luke, unless there's something oh, wow. special here. Yeah, and that's the end of Luke. So it is the end of Luke. Okay, so she gets another 12 points. 13. 13, right? Oh, right, for Jabba. 13. 13, yeah. Now, with her 13. So with her 13 again, now she, as with it before, she can just hit both of those patrons. Yep, and that's game over. So yeah, Jason does have to uh, block that. Test the patron to prevent. Yeah, that I'm just trying to. My, I'm trying to think here. I don't know if the, he even has any chance to post out at this point, just because there's so many things he yeah. would have to do compared to what Liz has to do. Because you're right. If she just gets the there's one more that. patron, that's going to give her the extra bonus points to get closer to to get up to. And then you're right. Kill one figure, and that's it. She's got the game. I mean, at this I point, I mean, she could also just kill. Killing uh, Vinto. Vinto is enough. Yeah, killing Vinto is a game over. You're right, because that'll be the five plus the one. Looks like she's going to go for... Yeah, I'm really impressed with what they did for the design for Jeb. Like, someone who can't really be in the battle. Yeah. But for still six points, has an enormous influence on the game. I actually like it. And I, what, I, what I've noticed, it's done. And not counting IG here. But I think it's helped other characters like Boba Fett um, that could, could help, yeah. could do a little bit. Could Recognizes little that he's going to have to contest this. Or See, I don't think he can. No, you can't take, you can't take that. You can't. Yeah. Because Are he you sure? Yeah, I don't, I don't think so. I think it has to be because it's an interaction. Yeah. I'm just going to check here first. Um, I don't know. But I, it's not... Just confirming the contested. Uh, uh, so he could, he, she couldn't, or he couldn't uh, do that because it would be contested. But it is blocking her win condition. So I think they were already figuring that out between the two of them. Uh, VJ just went over and made sure. Oh, did the TO thing. Like you said, it's kind of late in the game. They're probably just forgetting some of the 
things. So taking a shot here, not sure at who. Tell me when they get another. Oh, wait. Taylor, you're Sorry. We have some uh, folks that are just finishing their rounds and people who are going to be leaving. So VJ is going to go handle uh, handle giving out some of the promos. Um, okay, I'll give it to you later. Okay. So VJ is back. I'm back. Sorry, guys. I'm running away. Uh, so let's see. What was the last thing that happened here? I mean, the like we said, Liz just has to go I'm not sure who the week I took a shot at. Okay, and then this looks like here she added a red. This has been a lot of damage to a weak weight coming up here. And he's looking if he can play anything. So, I don't know who this activation was from. So he's got an on the his kill is on the lamb. He's playing on the lamb. So now, because the dice have been rolled, he didn't even roll, he didn't look like he rolled, but he can now do a movement. And as long as he's out of that person's line of sight, let's say, that attack can't, can't, get, can't get out of the line of sight. Yeah. Does not have range? Maybe not range. Is ah. it six instead of five? Uh, yeah, only yeah five range. so there's no range. Yeah. So that's another thing you could do, right? Just pull back all the way. Can't get out of the line of sight. Well, that's a smart move by Jason there. Ah, so she's just... Okay, so now she's up. She's just got the next terminal, so now she's going to be five more points closer, right? She's up to ten now. Yeah, so here are points. So 39, technically. Five points. And now... Jason gets to decide what he wants to do well, here. Like, is he, he going to recognize that he needs to contest that? Yeah, he doesn't get in to... Yeah, like you're right. At, at this point, he's always okay. focusing on Vinto. So enough. And that's not enough, because now she just has to... Okay, I'm going to leave side. Well, that's the yeah. game if she realizes. Yeah. Yeah, she should be able to just come in. Okay, let's see what else happens here. So... If she realizes now that she just has to take the one weak way out, who's got one you know, point just, left? She, she, just, uh, she just uses the weak way and, uh, and takes the, the last favor. And takes the favor, yeah. I'm not sure if she's trying to think about it here. And it looks like that's what she did, or yeah. she's going to do. So now I think they're figuring it out that if she just takes that terminal, then it's going to be the game. Uh, yeah. You're cool? Yeah. Okay. Like, maybe rock up by six or something. Uh, oh, for sure. 100%. We'll get this thing started in about. We'll get this thing started. Just uh, discussing here. Just going to hour round. I mean, we'll get, eventually we'll get there. I think so. You know, 15 ish? Yeah, back at 15. Okay. We'll wait for you. Uh, well, you're not going to be able to get food very quickly. Sorry. Oh, because of all the crowds? So you're going to be able to get food quick? I might be able to stay right. on the corner. There's a burrito place. Okay. They, they won't have your food ready quickly enough. Because we be too busy using? Yeah, yeah, no. Like, it'll, th it'll take them at least 10 minutes to make it. You won't, you won't be able to get it together. Yeah, I'll see what I need. Okay. I don't want to wait to start the next round. And that should be game, right? She just did the that's last game. favor, and that's it. And let's see if they... All right. Uh, the math here. And it looks like they're continuing on. Why? I don't think they can. No. Yeah, the game's over. I don't mean... Is it in the middle of the game? No, she didn't get this one, right? That's what she just did. So yeah, so that's